and hello everybody hi how we doing so today is the 21st of may 2012 it's my 32nd birthday today um yeah one year older i actually can't believe that i'm 32 um yeah anyway um thanks to everybody who has sent me happy, happy birthday wishes wishes mainly via twitter um i'm not on facebook anymore so if anybody's tried to reach me via there you obviously can't um i've even had a few text messages as well saying happy birthday um what have i done so far well first of all um last night when i came home from work um I started off watching um, the latest Young Justice episode, uh, which was brilliant by the way, um, then watched Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows, because it's awesome, and the other interesting thing is, <coughs> about my birthday, is that I share it with a specific, well, with a particular science fiction movie, okay, um, some of you will probably know which movie that is, but for those of you who don't know, it's the one and only Empire Strikes Back. That's right, Star Wars Episode Five. Okay, I was watching that last night to see into my birthday, as it were, and um, it's now become a yearly ritual because it was only three years ago that I found out that this film was released on the 21st of May, 1980. So um, it's no wonder I, I I love that film so much, for, especially not not just for the obvious reasons, but because it is such a great film altogether and it was, as I say, it's the same age as me, 32 years old and it still holds up so well. Um, okay, so what else have I been doing today? Well, I woke up this morning and I started playing some 80s music because clearly I'm an 80s child and I've been rocking and dancing to some 80s music today and it's been great, okay? I've blasted out the speakers and just had fun, had my own little party in my room, it was fantastic, it was lovely. Um, what else have I got planned for the day? Nothing much really. Um, a friend of mine whose um, daughter has the same birthday as me has invited me over to, uh, to her place, so I might go and see her later on this afternoon and have a little get-together, which should be fun. Um, <clears throat> for the course of the week, I've got the whole week off work, um, as well as today. So um, Friday is what I'm really looking forward to. I've got my new tattoo booked in so hopefully I'll be getting that done it's going to take roughly three and a half hours and it is going to be painful and if you want to know what the tattoo is here it is this is a tattoo that I'm getting designed by my friend Steve Howard okay um, held a competition for this last year um, roughly around October where I asked a number of YouTube subscribers and you know people that I knew to send in their ideas for tattoo designs and basically the best one for me personally won, won a prize which was a uh, a signed copy of uh, Absolute Justice, well, not Absolute Justice itself, but the Justice um, hardcover by um, Doug Braithwaite and Jim Kruger and Alex Ross. Um, and uh, my friend Steve Howard was the guy who won that. And as I say, that's his design that's getting done, being put on my back. So it is going to hurt. <laughs> Profusely hurts. It's going to be painful, extremely painful. I can't wait. Um, what else? Oh. If you haven't noticed, the uh, teaser trailer for Skyfall, the 23rd of James Bond movie, which is out in October here in the UK, was released this morning, okay? There is a YouTube video up of it as well, so go and check it out. I've had a look at it, and let me just say right now, I do think that Skyfall is going to be the best Bond movie of them all. It's no... It's no it's no, it's no gimmick. Is what I'm going to say. Um, it's intense. It looks intense. It looks very action heavy. Uh, the silhouette of Javier Bardem's um, silver um, bad guy just looks menacing. Um, but Daniel Craig, as well as James Bond, looks like he's on top form again. So really looking forward to that. Can't wait. We'll see how it turns out. Um, what else have we got? Not much really to, to explain. Um, you're probably looking behind me, aren't you? You are looking behind me at my. Uh, collection <laughs> kind of thing um, it's taken a while to build all this up there's, there's lots of DVDs down here there's some more DVDs along here as you can see with Smallville down at the bottom I've got like two box sets of Friends box set of Buffy the uh, Smallville US box set that I won in a competition thanks to Maurice Simmons there um, some DVDs behind that up here as well some box sets we've got some graphic novels trade paperbacks, hard covers over on this side, um, what else have we got, obviously is my Blu-ray collection over here as well, um, so yeah, quite quite a fair amount, it's, uh, it's interesting, and obviously Lantern Rings, Legion of, the Legion of Superheroes ring, two Flash Rings, Pop Superman, 
toy as well, which I absolutely adore. My friend Kelly Brown, who got me that for my... Well, actually, it wasn't for my birthday. It was more for Christmas in 2010, I believe. And I absolutely adore that, so that's great. Um, <clears throat> anything else interesting that I can explain or talk to you about? Not much. Um, looking forward to Prometheus and also uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. I don't know why, but I am really looking forward to Snow White and the Huntsman. Um, I remember when I saw the trailer for that uh, last year, and I just like sort of like thought to myself, wow, that actually does look amazing. And I do fancy the pants off Christian Stewart as well, so <clears throat> it's a big bonus for me, and I know a lot of ladies uh, who adore the likes of uh, Chris Hemsworth as well. Uh, we'll be going to see that for, for him. Um, I'm taking two friends of mine who happen to be sisters, um, so they're going to be fighting over each other who's to who gets Chris Hemsworth. I'm just going to enjoy for Christian Stewart and Charlie's the wrong, basically. So really looking forward to it. As I say, Prometheus as well. So Snow White and the Huntsman comes out on the 30th of May. Prometheus is out on the 1st of June, so gives a nice long gap there. Uh, this Friday also sees the release of Men in Black 3, which I will be going to see, and I shall be reviewing as well for you. Um, as I say, I'll be reviewing Snow White and the Huntsman, and also Prometheus, and of course, the big one in July, The Dark Knight Rises. Can't wait. Really looking forward to that, so uh, awesome stuff. Um, quickly mention about Green Arrow. I've already talked about the, uh, the new Arrow series that is coming out later on this year. And um, obviously we've seen the trailers, we've read the synopsis and everything, and it looks great. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I really can't wait to see it. So um, I have, read, as I said, I've already mentioned it earlier um, in a previous video, but um, yeah, just to mention it again, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, back to some more movie news, actually. As you may have been aware, Avengers has done really well. It is now number four the highest grossing movie of all time. It has, rate, it has made over 1.1 billion, almost 1.2 billion dollars across the world. Um, but let me just say this, right, and I've been saying this on Twitter for the past couple of weeks, okay? People shouldn't compare the Avengers with the likes of The Dark Knight. What we have to remember is, when The Dark Knight was released, way back in 2008, there were less IMAX screens, and it wasn't in 3D, and it still made over a billion dollars, okay? Avengers... Yes, we can put it down to the fact that it's been an IMAX, a lot more IMAX screens as well as 3D. So it has had a wider opening than what The Dark Knight did back in 2008. And as I say, with the premium prices for 3D and IMAX, obviously that's raised it up a bit. Whereas Dark Knight, back in 2008, you look, you have to think and look at the prices back then and realise how much The Dark Knight made compared to what Avengers has done now. But that being said, Again, you want to compare The Dark Knight to a movie, compare it to The Dark Knight Rises. Don't compare Avengers to The Dark Knight Rises. Totally separate entities, totally different tones. You compare The Dark Knight to The Dark Knight Rises. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm really looking forward to The Dark Knight Rises. I can't wait to see what it's going to do. And I'm sure it will make a lot of money because it is Batman. You know, he is really popular. You know, um, Batman against the Avengers, he would still win, hands down. There's no arguments about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care where you're from who you are, Batman will take on the Avengers single-handedly. That's all I'm going to say. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday. And all I'll say to you guys is, have a good day, enjoy your week, and I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.